Kia ora na everyone, my name is Kura. Welcome to Fish and Tips. Last episode, we spoke about the dropstone fishing. This time around, we're going to go through the paluahi. Last episode, you mentioned there were different variations of drop zone fishing. What are these? So, we have palu wahi. Palu means chum, ahi means tuna. It uses a lead weight and a um, piece of fabric. Um, it's similar to drop stone. This one, though, however, you're bringing the gear back on. You are not dropping lead sea floor or letting a piece of fabric float in the, yeah. in the water bottom. Again you put chum and your baited hook into this parcel. So basically the cloth replaces the leaf and That's the correct. lead replaces yeah. the rock. That's right. So it makes everything easier. So makes everything easier. everything is reused again. You keep listening to Uncle, I see you're getting You're awesome. Up. I'm so smart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uncle, what materials do we need for this type of fishing It's similar to um, drop stone, you need lots of your main, main fishing line, mm -hmm. 1.6 to 1 to 2 millimeter diameter. You need lots of line, two to 300 meters length. You need a leader, mm -hmm. and a circle hook, I've got some there as a display. On the head of the leader is a loop to attach to the snap. A squarish Lead weight, you want something square, not round, mm -hmm. because a round weight rolls around on the boat tank, so something square. And a piece of fabric, this is about 25 by 25 centimeters. And then, of course, you need your bait and your chump. Mm -hmm. First is we attach the lid to a piece of uh, um, twine, something that's very strong, so we don't lose the lid. All right. We make a corner. I'd like to do a little knot here, just a half inch. Mm -hmm. So that's your chum bag. You attach this to your main line with a hook and our loop. The leader is about four to six meters to the hook. Attach the loop to, to the close lock snap. I've just put the snap and the lead line onto the lead yep. with the fabric. Yep. Okay, we'll now I'm going bait. to bait it we'll try using the tuna. I'm gonna put it through the flesh and then come back through the back. Okay. Going to coil it. Yes, we're coiling it from the snapping. When you're coiling it, make sure that it doesn't overlap. Like so. Place the lead line on the fabric, the lid on top, and the bait. Now, we need some chum into the fabric. Mmm, tasty. Now I'm going to wrap it up like a package package like so so nice I'm going to coil it like so very nice okay now the loop put your thumb across come back around over here one is around twice Almost like a slip knot, like so. Now the fun part. When your package is ready, here is how to fish with the paluai technique. Pay out 10 meters of slack line using your arm span. 
Drop the parcel gently in the water. Keep feeding out the line until you reach your desired fishing depth. Make sure not to slow or stop the line too early as it could jerk the package open by accident. Gently stop the line when you have reached the desired fishing depth. Give several sharp tugs to the main line. This opens the bag and releases the chum and the baited hook. Wrap up. Tip number one. On your boat, use the sea anchor to slow the vessel's drift. Tip number two. If you don't have access to a sinker, use a dive weight. Easy. Tip number three. Your cone bag and your fabric will get a bit stinky at the end of the day, so make sure you give it a good wash.